Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, September 25th. This is Gina McGuire. We are not expecting any significant impacts to fire potential across the Great Basin. Very warm temperatures with some areas hitting record temperatures will continue today and tomorrow with the warmest temperatures over Nevada and Utah. However, temperatures will gradually decrease this weekend through next week to closer to normal by mid to late next week with also some wet weather possible over the northern two-thirds of the area. Breezy winds will also return today through next week with a trough of low pressure off the west coast, but should remain below critical levels. Yesterday we saw no precipitation or lightning across the Great Basin, and over the last seven days, Nevada and most of Utah have remained dry along with the Arizona Strip, with only some showers over Idaho and Wyoming. However, over the last 30 days, much wetter conditions have occurred over the eastern two-thirds of the Great Basin, with still very dry weather over western Nevada, where no rainfall has been reported for over the last 30 days. The water vapor satellite image from this morning shows strong high pressure dominating the eastern half of the Great Basin, which will be responsible for those very warm temperatures and near record heat today and tomorrow across Nevada and Utah. A trough of low pressure is located off the northwest coast, and this will slowly move eastward, pushing the high pressure to the east with gradually decreasing temperatures, and also we'll see an increase in winds between this area of low pressure and the area of high pressure, along with eventually bringing some moisture to the area. In the meantime, dry conditions will continue today with low to moderate fire potential across much of Nevada due to the very dry conditions and warm temperatures, and still generally low fire potential over parts of southern Utah in the Idaho and Wyoming due to recent wet and cool weather. Looking at the surface conditions, today temperatures will reach the low 90s in the valleys of Nevada and Utah, which again will be near records, and will reach generally the 80s to low 90s over Idaho. Those winds will be increasing today with southwest winds, generally around 14 to 18 miles per hour, with some gusts around 25 or into the upper 20s across especially Nevada and Idaho. As we move into this weekend, the trough moves into the northwest coast. We'll see again those continued breezy winds with some moisture possible over parts of southern and central Idaho into Wyoming and possibly far northwest Utah for some isolated showers or thunderstorms. Generally low to moderate fire potential will continue across the Great Basin. Relative humidity with these warm and dry conditions will drop into the lower teens across much of the Great Basin and only be slightly higher across Idaho and Wyoming again with those breezy winds continuing on Saturday with general gusts in the 20s. As we move into Sunday, a similar weather pattern will continue. We may see the disturbance of low pressure move across the northern Great Basin into the Rockies, and this will continue the potential for some isolated showers or thunderstorms from Wyoming into southeast Idaho and northern Utah on Sunday, with again continued warmer and drier conditions further south and west. Relative humidity will be lowest across Nevada and southern Utah, where relative humidity will drop into the lower teens, but as that area of low pressure moves across the northern Great Basin into the Rockies, we'll see a slight increase in relative humidity in Idaho and Wyoming, along with some cooler temperatures. Again, the breezy winds continue on Sunday and push into Utah. However, most gusts are expected to remain below 30 miles per hour. By Monday, moisture will make its way down further south into Utah and much of western Wyoming and southern Idaho, with even possible some isolated thunderstorms over parts of western Nevada. However, any moisture over Nevada will generally be light, with some wetting rains expected further east. As we move into Tuesday, the moisture will start to increase in the northwest and spread across the northern portions of the Great Basin for a better likelihood of some wetting rains across Idaho and Wyoming, with decreasing fire potential as those temperatures cool and the moisture increases. Even further south, due to the moisture we might see on Monday, along with some cooler weather, we'll see a slight decrease in fire potential. However, winds will remain breezy through next week, but again expected to remain below critical levels. By Wednesday, low pressure is still located near the California coast. However, more moisture will eventually continue pushing east across Idaho, with drier conditions further south, again with decreasing fire potential over the northern and eastern sections of the Great Basin, just due to some cooler weather and some moisture. By Thursday, again, this pattern continues with the better chances of wetting rains up across Idaho. Looking at the amount of forecast precipitation expected through Sunday, any precipitation we see over Idaho, Wyoming, into northern Utah will likely be on the lighter side with some thunderstorms. However, as we move into next week, we'll see better chances of wetting rains over much of the northern third of the Great Basin. Looking at the fire danger indices, ERCs have continued to increase across the Great Basin with this warmer and drier weather and are nearer just above the 80th percentile over parts of the Sierra Front into western Nevada and over parts of Utah. These are well above normal for this time of year. Over Idaho, ERCs have been increasing but still remain well below the 80th percentile and are just trending near normal. 
As we look towards later in September into the first part of October, we're expecting well above normal temperatures across the west and really above normal temperatures across the entire country with near normal chances for precipitation. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.